Good evening. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2023 of Graham Kapowson High School. My name is Jake Dorn and I'm your master of ceremonies tonight. Before we start, there are a few points that I'd like to review with you. We request that you do not come on the floor to take photographs or videotape. There is a professional photographer who will take pho photographs of your graduate receiving his or her diploma. Information to order photos can be found with your graduate's diploma. When your graduate's name is read, please be considerate of others and do not make excessive noise. That means no air horns, loud noises, beach balls, etc. We do not want anyone to miss hearing his or her graduate's name being read because of noise. Following the ceremony, the graduates will meet their families and friends outside. Please remember, this is a formal ceremony, a time when we treat everyone with respect and recognize and honor our graduates with pride and dignity. Thank you for your cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, now entering from your left, tonight's honored school district guest. Mr. Tom Siegel has served as the Bethel School District Superintendent since 2001. Before coming to Bethel, Mr. Siegel held a similar position in Boulder, Colorado. Prior to his work in public education, he served in the U.S. Navy for 25 years, completing his military career as commander. Dr. Brian Lowney is the Assistant Superintendent of Secondary Education. He has been in Bethel School District since the summer of 2020. Dr. Lowney earned his Master of Educational Administration from the University of Puget Sound and his doctorate degree from Northwest Nazarene University. Next, I would like to introduce Bethel's Board of Directors. President Brenda Rogers has served since November of 2003. President Rogers attended San Francisco State University and studied construction management. Mrs. Rogers is past president of the Washington State School Districts Association. Vice President Marcus Young has served since May of 2018. Vice President Young received an Associates of Theology degree from A.L. Harding Academy of Theology and the Doctorate of Divinity Honoris Causa from St. Thomas Christian University. Dr. Terrence M. Mayers, Sr. has served on the board since April 2021. Dr. Mayers has an Associates of Applied Science degree in Computer Networking from Renton Technical College and Pro Project Management Certification from Rutgers University. Director Rosanna Camacho has served since June 2018. Director Camacho has a Master's in Business Administration, a Bachelor's of Science in Psychology, and a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. Director John Matting has served on the board since two, December 2006. Director Manning is a graduate of the University High School in Spokane, Washington, and is retired from the U.S. Air Force. <clears throat> Following the board members, please welcome now. I'm honored to introduce the rest of our GKHS administration team, with whom I have the privilege to work. Principal Matt Yarkowski has been an administrator in the Bethel School District for the past 13 years. He has been at Graham Kapowson for 11 years, with the last nine as our building principal. Mr. Yurkowski received his master's degree in educational leadership from the University of Puget Sound. <clears throat> Assistant principals Elise Fritz and Michelle Gibbler. This is Ms. Fritz's ninth year in Bethel School as an administrator. She received her master's degree from City University. This is Ms. Gilbert's 10th year in Bethel School District. Ms. Gilbert received her master's degree from Grand Canyon University. Sabre team, take your position. Please welcome the outstanding staff of Graham Kapowson High School.
Many of the graduates you will see this evening are wearing cords that signify academic success. Seniors wearing gold cords are those students graduating with 3.5 GPA or higher. Silver cords represent those who are graduating with a 3.0 to 3.49 GPA. Leading the class will be those who met the challenge of high school and far exceeded those tough standards put before them by their teachers, families, and graduate with the highest of honors. The top 10 students of, this, of their class at Graham Kapowson wear a medal that signifies, signifies their academic accomplishments throughout their high school experience. Graham Kapowson valedictorians for 2023 is Evan Attaway, Jessica Christensen, Emily Hopkins. Our salutatorian for the class is Kylan Wynn. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to introduce the seniors of Graham Kapowson High, High, Graham Kapowson High School class of 2023.
I present to you again the 2023 graduating class of Grandpa Powelson High School. Senior choir, cho choral members, it's time to join the choir. Senior choral members, join the choir, please. Please stand for the posting of the colors by our Army JROTC Color Guard, followed by the national anthem performed by the Graham Kapowson High School Choir. Please remain standing until the flags have cleared the floor. So proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave Thank you, Graham Kapelson Cadets and Choir. Graduates, you may be seated. I would now like to introduce the teacher speaker as voted by the class of 2023, Ms. Matson. Hey everyone. All right, here we go. Dear GK class of 2023, today is a day of celebration. As I stand up here before you, my heart is filled with not only pride, but a healthy amount of fear of public speaking. From the first day that you guys stepped foot into GK as frightened freshmen, to this moment now, when you leave as confident, capable individuals who will now enter the world of adulting, it has truly been an honor to be a part of your growth. Graduation. 
It's the bittersweet moment when you bid farewell to the comfort of the lockers you never really used, to the hallways that were more crowded than a Taylor Swift concert, and asking your teachers every single day what schedule we're on or what time class gets out. You've experienced early mornings, late night cram sessions, and a dreaded assessment or two that had you questioning the meaning of life. That being said, today marks the beginning of a new chapter filled with endless possibilities and incredible adventures. As your teacher, I feel obligated to offer some of Madsen's free life advice one last time to help guide you guys on your way. First, life is often confusing and it's rarely straightforward. Embrace the chaos and accept that failure is a stepping stone to success. We live in an age of Snapchat, TikTok, and instant gratification. But there's no way to really shortcut the path to success. It takes hard work, tenacity, resilience, and most importantly, patience. Number two, I want you guys to dream so fearlessly that people question your sanity. The world needs people who are brave enough to turn their dreams into reality. If anyone tries to bring you down, just tell them that you're majoring in shaking off the haters with a minor in proving them wrong. Number three, I want you guys to live life intentionally. Be deliberate with what you allow into your life. Don't allow society or your peers to tell you what is important. Choose that for yourself. Have a clear structure for your day. Define your priorities and goals, and be aware of your mental health, and avoid comparing yourselves to others. Number four, as you step into the world of adulting, remember that success isn't measured solely by your achievements but by the impact that you have on others. Be kind, be compassionate, be the person that brings light into somebody's darkest day. It doesn't take much, a smile, sharing a meme, giving a helping hand, or executing a perfectly timed pun. Last but not least, number five, hold tightly to your sense of humor. You will be hurt, you will get cut off on Meridian, you will pay taxes, you will feel brokenhearted, you will be disappointed. But just know that laughter is the glue that mends broken hearts. It's the magic that turns a bad day into a cherished memory. It's a secret to a life well lived. I want you guys to laugh often and laugh wholeheartedly. And if you can make somebody snort coffee out of their nose, it's a job well done. As I bring my words to a close, I want you to know that you're not alone on this journey. You carry with you the support and love and unwavering belief of your teachers, your parents, and this entire community. We believe in you. Graduates, as you spread your wings and soar into the unknown, remember that you have everything with you that you need and to make your mark on this world. Embrace challenges, cherish friendships, and laugh as much as humanly possible. Congrats, class of 2023. The world awaits your talents, your humor, and your determination to make it a better place. And remember, you are so loved. Thank you. Well said, thank you, Ms. Matson. And now it is my pleasure to once again introduce the Graham Kapelson High School Choir and their director, Mr. Jason Saunders. Tonight, they are performing Omnia Soul by Z. Randall Stroop. The performance will be conducted by senior Isabella Wilkins.
Thank you, Mr. Saunders and Isabella and our GK Choir. I would now like to introduce our senior class speaker, Carissa Milton. Thank you, Mr. Dorn. We'll wait for the choir kids to get seated. Perseverance, to persist in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. If I had to sum up our class in one word, it would be perseverance. As we transition to the next chapter of our lives, we will continue to face challenges, but we will persevere. In this class of over 400 students, there are people from every walk of life who have been brought together, who have bonded and created lasting friendships, who have worked hard and pushed themselves, who will continue to succeed. Over our four years of high school, we have persevered through a wide variety of obstacles. One such obstacle we endured together being a global pandemic. However, everyone's individual obstacles are a little different, but still connected in a variety of ways. The same ways we are all connected through our school, community, and our growth as unique individuals. While our high school experience has been far from normal, it has given us the unique opportunity to learn how to be flexible and adapt. The educators and staff at Graham Kapowson High School have prepared us for both triumphant and challenging futures, where we will challenge ourselves in order to succeed. Among these hundreds of students who have turned into extraordinary humans, there are so many different paths. Those previously involved in GK arts, music, and clubs. Our extracurriculars at Graham Kapowson have persevered in many ways. Our football team played on the national stage in 2021 at the Geico Bowl in Las Vegas. Our volleyball team and even members of band have brought home state championship titles. Now, these extraordinary humans are pushing towards amazing futures. Those who will become doctors and nurses that will save lives. Business owners that will strive to improve the world. And even teachers who will go on to impact the next generation of graduates. Teachers that will be supportive and smile for their students, kind of like right now. Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. The graduating class of 2023 has persisted in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. We made it. And after this evening, we will walk into our futures, creating our own path. The class of 2023 will change the world and I am proud to be part of this incredible group. Thank you. Thank you, Chris and Milton. Seniors and band, please take your place. It's gonna take a second for all the seniors to get seated, but ladies and gentlemen, the Graham Kapowson High School combined bands under the direction of Mr. Dan Hendrick will be playing Appalachian Mount Morning, Appalachian Morning by Robert Sheldon.
Thank you, Mr. Hendrick and our GK band. I would like to invite our, uh, I'd like to invite Graham Kapowski principal up for a short message. Mr. Rakowski, please come to the podium. Thank you, class of 2023. I've had the privilege to spend your high school years with you. In fact, I remember back in August of 2019 when you were at Link Crew and you came to your first official day of high school. The world has changed a lot since then. But you have had a big impact on Graham Kapowski High School and I wanna share a little bit about that impact with you. So let us take a moment to look back at our journey together and appreciate this remarkable transformation we have undergone since our first steps into this school. In fact, that last sentence is taken from chat GPT, which is something that came into wide use during your senior year. Yes, I know, I hear the laughter for some of you. Some of you, the class of 2023, you've challenged your English teachers to think about what it means for the future of writing. Your class started your freshman year with all high school events in August of 2019. And your senior year, you got all those events back again with no need to be six feet apart or masks. Here's some other things we experienced our senior year. Our music program, we got to lead and go to districts and start up concerts and all the fun stuff with music. We had a state champion in the clarinet. We had so many students represent Graham Kapowson at the state solo ensemble contest in April. Pep band, we sounded great during performances of halftimes during football games today. A marching band. Remember our plays this year? Done to death, laughing stock. It was great to see the students perform. Pack the gym. Our students experienced a new understanding and joy for Special Olympics. DECA. DECA received the Thrive Level of Certification. One of only approximately 1,300 chapters internationally to earn that achievement. JRTC. Marksmanship. Program placed first in league. First time in school history. Unarmed drill team, fifth. Color guard, arm drill team, fitness teams all performed well. Our AP program, 378 students, including 128 of you, took senior AP or took AP classes this year. You guys participated in college and the high school. You earned college credit. This senior class, class of 2023, earned more than $4.08 million worth of scholarships they're going to use next year. More students graduated with an AA than ever before. And who could forget sports? Obviously, it was volleyball, the dream season, complete with this commanding state title. Football took third in state. Bowling took eighth. GK was well represented in other areas. Individual competitors in girls tennis, track and field, bowling, cheer, swimming and wrestling. The senior class, you guys had school spirit. Our homecoming tickets had nearly 1,100 tickets sold, which is the most in school history. We've had several dances this year too, and we finished the year on the Foss Waterway. This year's class was civically engaged and got opportunities to interact with elected officials as well, and I was exciting to see our students thinking about their future in this way. You class of 2023 have made GK a better place. This will be the last time I tell you this. Remember that orange and blue starts with you. Continue to think about ways to give your personal best every day. Take ownership of your future understand that you will need to work with others to accomplish big things. Thank you, class of 2023, for making GKS a great place. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Gukowski. As he exits, as he gets back to his seat, I ask that our senior orchestra students join the chamber orchestra one last time, performing Odlensin, arranged and directed by Miss Anna Gildon.
Thank you, Ms. Gildon and our GK Orchestra. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to introduce to you our 2023 valedictorians, Emily Hopkins, Jessica Christensen, and Evan Attaway with tonight's commitments address. Please join me at the stage. Good evening, fellow graduates, family, friends, and staff. Thank you all for being here this evening as we celebrate this huge milestone in our academic careers. My name is Emily Hopkins, and it is truly an honor to stand before you all today delivering this speech. But before I start, I speak on behalf of the other valedictorians when I say, we would not be here today without the gracious support of our teachers, coaches, friends, and especially our families. Thank you all for your unwavering support and encouragement over these past four years. Today, at this moment, we stand at crossroads in our academic journey. Over the past 12 years, we have grown from little kids exploring the wonders of the world into strong, capable young adults now setting change in that very same world. However, this development did not come with ease. Rather, it came with a great amount of adversity. With each challenge that came our way, we fought with persistence, determination, and the willingness to learn. We transformed these challenges into opportunities. And while it was undeniably difficult, that was the point. It was hard, yet here we are today. We did it. Through the struggle, hardship, and turmoil, we grew up. We stand here knowing that we are all capable of embracing the process of growth. We have demonstrated this consistently through our four years here at GK. We know that to grow, we must step outside of our comfort zone and embrace it as it is the key to becoming successful in the real world. As we embark on an undeniably scary path through life, face it with conviction. By embracing the challenges and being willing to grow, we will bloom into the knowledgeable, successful adults we are meant to be. Class of 2023, you are remarkable. As I look out there, I see my fellow classmates who are all uniquely talented and have become distinguished individuals. Today, I'd like you to take a moment to reflect on how far you have all come. And with every tomorrow, I hope you strive to pursue the passions and goals that lie ahead. Thank you. Fellow graduates, at such a pivotal time for reflection, I'd like to co collectively all think back to our first day as Eagles. September 5th, 2019 was nearly four years ago. If this were a math test of some sort, we could potentially divide that same passage of time up into smaller increments, such as 45 months, 197 weeks, 1,383 days, or even approximately 33,187 hours. And though our personal perceptions of time in high school may fluctuate if we refer to it in these different categories, such as hours or weeks, the immense evolution and progression that we, as a class, have experienced remains resolute. In these brief four years, presumably the most challenging in our lives so far, we have all been given the time, network, and tools necessary to pursue the unique prospects of our future, which is an aspect of high school I know I will always be thankful for. Even further, I'd like to briefly thank all those who helped us make it to the stage today. I think that I speak for everyone when I earnestly say thank you to those special individuals who have encouraged each of us to take risks, incite positive change, and who fostered the growth of our freshmen selves into those filling the stadium seats today. But most of all, I am especially grateful to be standing here with the same group of people who all signed the commitment to graduate poster four years ago. Though we may not have known then what we do now about what high school would have in store for us, through every hindrance, our unwavering determination is what has allowed us to come this far. While what lies ahead may seem daunting or we may even feel unprepared, inadequate, or incapable of tackling some of the tasks that patiently await, 
I trust that we will be able to harness the same intense dedication that we have in these past 1,383 days to push past those seemingly mountainous challenges as well. Though our unified time together as the class of 2023 is coming to a close, as we keep editing our own stories, even trying to flip through the unwritten pages of life's chapters, may we never forget to continue moving forward with the same resilience, tenacity, and passion that has gotten us this far. While leaving tonight as GK alumni, it is my hope that we may ultimately focus on leaving the impact of our inspiring legacy wherever the future may take us. Thank you and congratulations. Faculty, teachers, parents, and of course, my peers. I'm here today to share a powerful idea that I hope we can all carry with us as we transition on to this next chapter of our lives. It is the notion of striving towards being better rather than perfect. In a world obsessed with perfection, it is easy to feel overwhelmed, constantly comparing ourselves to unattainable standards. This pursuit of perfection is a never-ending race, an illusion, that leads us astray from our true potential. Instead, I urge you to pursue the idea of becoming better versions of ourselves. Being better means acknowledging that we are all a work in progress. It means recognizing that we have strengths, weaknesses, and room to grow. It means accepting that mistakes are not failures, but rather opportunities to learn and improve. By striving to be better, we unlock a new world of possibility. Perfectionism, it holds us back. It tells us that if we can't achieve something flawlessly, it's not worth pursuing. However, life is messy and unpredictable. The most remarkable journeys are the ones often with challenges, mistakes, flaws, and detours. Yet, it is through these challenges that we discover the scope of our resilience. With this in mind, don't be afraid of failure. As a musician, I have learned that mistakes are not detrimental. Most of the time, nobody will even notice. And even if they did notice, mistakes, don't, mistakes do not determine your worth, and they definitely don't devalue the time that you put into the process. However, what is detrimental is when you lose sight of your intent. The music does not care about your personal gain. It only cares about how it is expressed to the audience. This makes music in itself selfish, but we do not have to be. Becoming better is not just about personal growth. It includes lifting others along the way. When we focus on becoming better versions of ourselves, we inspire those, us, those around us to do the same. So, share your knowledge, be thoughtful and generous to those around you, and spread kindness wherever you go. The impact you have on others can be immeasurable, and it is through this collective growth that we create a better world to live in. I would like you to think back to four years ago as a freshman just entering high school. There was this looming fear of the unknown, similar to probably what we're feeling today. But I would like you to reflect on how far you've come as a person since then. Despite all the hard days and late nights, we have all become better and are on the path to greatness. With the determination to get to where we are today, I believe we are well equipped to continue to grow and achieve even greater feats. Class of 2023, I ask that when this ceremony has concluded, you take a moment to thank those who are in your life. This could be your teachers, coaches, friends, parents, or even your pets. Thank them for encouraging you, inspiring you, or supporting you, even through the darkest times of the last four years. And as we embark on the next chapter of our lives, I challenge you to let go of perfection and embrace becoming better. Embrace the challenges you face and learn from your mistakes and celebrate your achievements no matter how small they may seem. And remember, your worth is not defined by flawless success, but by the effort that you put into becoming the better version of yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Emily, Jessica, and Evan. As they exit the stage, parents, guardians, family, friends, it is now time to graduate our seniors. Please welcome the superintendent of Bethel School District, Mr. Tom Siegel, to present the class of 2023.
As superintendent, it is my duty and my personal privilege to certify that these graduates have met the graduation requirements of the state of Washington and the Bethel School District, and I am proud to present Graham Kapowson High School's graduating class of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the president of the Bethel School Board, Mrs. Brenda Rogers, accepting, accepting the class of 2023. Thank you. It's an honor to speak to the graduating class of Graham Kapowson High School, your family and friends, and all the teachers and staff that helped bring you here today. The last few years have been challenging for most students as well as most educators. Some of you have had staggering challenges and I suspect you have many stories to tell. But despite the challenges, you didn't give up. When you see a person standing up here with all of this white hair, you may think I don't know much about what you face, but you might be wrong. All of you and I are experiencing a major transition of life's phases. Yours as young, new adults, making your own decisions and charting a path into your future. I, as a person moving into one of life's later phases, into retirement, my career and child raising years behind me. 57 years ago, I walked across the stage to receive my diploma. I had many of the same classes you do, English, history, math, science, foreign language. Instead of advisory, though, I had a study hall where they jammed us all into the cafeteria for an hour a day and told us to study on our own. I may have learned some things in there that had a little to do with academics, I also had driver's education in my sophomore year. I don't remember my teacher's name, but I remember a couple things he said. One was always look where you're going, not where you've been. And the other one was some people should never drive and you might be one of them. <laughs> On that day, my classmates and I hoped for more equality in society and in the workplace, access to higher education, an end to the fighting in Vietnam, and frankly, more electric appliances. I had little knowledge of what the future would hold for me, my friends, or my children. On that day, telephones hung on the wall. Computers took up entire rooms and if I wanted information that wasn't in my textbook, I had to make it over the library and see if they had a book on that subject. But before I knew it, humans had landed on the moon. 18-year-olds got the vote, and we invented personal computers, cell phones, and Google. All things I could never have predicted the day I got my diploma. What will happen in your journey through life? Will we have robots everywhere? Will aliens show themselves? Will science find a way to indefinitely prolong human life? Heck, will the Mariners go to the World Series? <laughs> well, of course, we don't really know. So how do you prepare for that kind of unknown? Take the next steps of your formal education, college, junior college, apprenticeships, trade schools, or the military. Take advantage of all of the ways the modern world makes knowledge available to anyone who wants to learn. And never stop learning. Make good choices. Look for help and advice if you need it. There is never any shame in asking for help. Have a creative outlet. Creativity is not only a human need, it's going to be critical 
to our future in the workplace. Experience love, love for yourself, your family, the family you will create, your friends, your neighbor, and people you'll never see, but who share our common humanity. I have every confidence that your generation will protect our democracy and our freedom and continue to lead in the world with integrity and imagination. I believe that you will work to cure disease, further explore our universe, and produce new energy and cleaner water. I believe you will form strong, healthy families and live happy, successful, and productive lives. I believe you will have the compassion to care for those who are not as healthy, as able, or as educated as you, and that you will be sure to preserve, improve upon, and pass on the gift of a public education. You are our future, and I couldn't believe in you more. As president of the Bethel School District Board of Directors, and on their behalf, I am proud to accept the Graham Kapowson High School class of 2023. Thank you, Ms. Rogers. Tonight's roll callers are two staff members selected by the senior class to announce their names. They are Ms. Rosalind Bailey and Daniel Hendrick. <laughs> Rosalind Bailey, Rosalind Bailey. Rosalind and Dan, would you please take your positions? Presentation of the diplomas will be by Marcus Young Sr. and Brenda Rogers of the Bethel School Board. Students, please prepare to receive your diplomas. Admin team, take your positions. Test, test, okay. Wait. Mr. Evan Attaway. Miss Jessica Marie Christensen. Jaden Tracias Fuller. Ava Nevaeh Allen. Oh. Isabella Christine Monique Hallstrom. Michael Frederick Sams Jr. Carissa Ann Milton. Jessica Elizabeth Carroll. Lonel Johnson. Romeo K. Castro Torn. Anchal Turner. Nathan Lean Bloodworth. Kimry Ewell. Autumn Elizabeth Barker. Jacob Walter Van Giesen. Kyla Elise Thompson. Kylan Jack Nguyen. Emily S. Hopkins. Maddie Audrey Townsend. Madison Alexander Rayleigh. Alex Elijah Alexander Lee. Bobby Jolene Marquis. Kyla Rain Alfier. Egan Ray Howard. Kathleen Annalise Heisey. Alonzo G. Lopez Vela. Aliyah Koharu Aoke Daniels. Donovan Keith Matthews. Kaylin Patterson Elston. Asia Marie Lizama. 
Alexis Lewis. Kayleen Victoria Katuna. Damian Wynn. Jacob Foreman. Ethan Blake Rupel. Emmeline Shoemaker. Bryson Tuck. Brady Michael Ray. Sonny Sook Slusher. Jonathan Crouch. Jack Logan Hansen. Alexi Gilbert. Savannah Lynn Gwinnup. Eden e Eli. Skyler Paige Shank. Bailey Faith Hogue. Corey Raylin Lord. Kaylee Myla Mooncoat. Peyton Sybil Sellers. Alyssa J. Scott. Emily Ann Kaber. Rory Lee Zaflu. Brianna K. Parsons. Sierra Lentz. Hannah Shell. Alyssa Visser. Audrey Chapel. Aiden B. Howard. Ty Tin Sutisan. Skylar Lee Matthews. Cameron James Babinaw. Colin Smith. Blythe Victoria Grazer. Brian Finnezy. Caitlin Ann Gibbs. Lavender Bell Manning Princess. Hannah Flannery. Kai Calhoun. Kyleen Nicole Stewart. Shelby Nicole Warner. Tyler Wilson Flesher. Natalie Hernandez. Thomas Meter. Alyssa Jade Reeves. Matthew Presser. Matthew Bohar. I don't have mine. It's Yam. Cage Stafford. Jacob Yam. Jacob Dean Walker. Christella Ferreira. Yeah. Alyssa Marie Swanson. Diana Capita Patea. Marilyn Jessica Gonzalez. Shauna Pabone Lassen. Catherine French. Mikey Toa. Yeah! Jared William Aitken. Jalen Davenport. Malena Christine McGuire. Madison Jillian Bay. Gabriel Isaiah Rizzani. Tama Marie Barkis. Haley Lauren Brockway. Jeremy Johnson. Elijah Ray McClinton. Hunter Ankley. Noel Rose White. Nathaniel Mark Wilhelmy. Gracie Leilani Peterson. Brian Dr John Kropilak. 
Deja Jasmine Taylor. Austin Z. Scott. William Bradley Sperry. Zachary Graff. Nisea Atanola. Dalton Tommy Thomas. Philip Wayne Lewis the fourth. Raymond Huawei Guamlidam. Gage yeah. Rodarte. Daryl T. Barkley. Emily Eddie. Mariah Barkley. Emma May Smith. Alexis Nicole Rivera Keda. Gift to Zizila. Ethan J. Woolen. Ezekiel Nagaoka Farakish. Silvana Valencia. Emma Kaylee Bain. Isabella Marie Leon. Kylie Ray Harris. Delaney Jane Smith. Sukjit Carr. Ella Grace Lynn. Samantha Mendoza. Natalie Marie Nagel. Jorge Marin Salazar. Braden Thomas McVeigh. Edward Zuniga Espino. Alexandra Eastup. Meredith Alondra Curiel. Emma Neve Webster Thomas. Christian Gomez Ibarra. Ernesto Mejia. Jacob David Choquette. Kamisha Hurst. Dan Sandy Mahabante Siruma. Alicia Bell Doolittle. Zoe Ann Simmons. Juan Para Hetardo. Aiden Morrison. Noah James Washburn. Joshua Nearhood. Bailey Ryan Modi. Zeth Obadiah Williams. Jeremiah Lee Pickett. Brody Scott Gustafson. David Alexandra Edson. Van Baco Gisi. Kimo Cruz. Heidi May Patterson. Heidi Car May Peterson. Carolina Montoya. Elizabeth Irene Thompson. Seth Johnston Sorensen. Braxton Deaton. Brady Michael Martin. Alyssa Guzman. Ethan James Ranzik. Hannah Bowman Briner. Alexis Blank. Spencer Paget. Hazel Gabrowski. Vivian Grace Starnes. 
Josiah Emmanuel Perez. Juan Pablo Rodriguez Limus. Paris Alyssa Roman. Martin Spencer. Jackson Stagger. Demetrius Israelu Taape. Isabella Salufa Alai Sokimi. Johannes Akale. Alex Xavier Pulemau Visal. Khalil Yarbo. Celicia Evatia Fatu. Spencer Bonter. Kelly Ilinganoa Mose. Okay. Jacob Lewis Felix Jr. Andrew Gerard Asmi Pinada. Alana Marie Harmon. Wyatt Willard May. Kellen Rael Pruitt. Jasmine Kananen. Hunter David Martin Weymouth. Jordan Danielle Kelsey. Travis Butts. <laughs> William Mulek. Emily Jasmine Mezavaye. Lucas W. Lutch. Brianna Faith Ibanez Colina. Wyatt T. Killian. Nixel Cheyenne Delson Soral. Carter Michael Artis. <laughs> Melissa Cruz. Emery R. Wade. Brandon David Mitzel. Brian Glenn. Joshua Lee Howard. Sarah Abby Duggar. Alima Rahman Shahazad Chaudhry. Amber Janine King. Ashley Singh. Kaylee Marie Thompson. Jacob Bowen. Ethan Eugene Coston. Kennedy McGinnis. Tyler James Humbuck. Riley Smith. Ian Solomon. Skylin Sec. Colby Solomon. May Mean Shin Brandenburg. Riley Lux. Anthony Esclamato Chung Jr. Anthony Deshawn Gathers. Alani Ane Alexander. Brennan David Cerner. Tisha Otila Manasse. Devon Linebugger. Kean Breen. 
J.C. Morris. Jacob Ryan Hawk. Alexander Shane Reed. Braden Perry. Caitlin Lisette Vrumman. Jeremy De La Vega. Adriana Ruby Lopez. Hector Parada Carrillo. Aleda Gutierrez Cabrera. Nathan Allen Chapel Marks. Colin Alexander Henderson. Ruby Rojas Ofracio. Carmen Guerrero Rios. Shailene Herrera Ufracio. Cato Whitney. Ayana Janae Ripple Salas. Zachary Lawrence. Guadalupe Zuniga Rez. Caleb Nicodemus. Kaysen Holmbeck. Kevin F. Amani Quartz. Courtney Lynn Wise. Everett Matilla. Maya Estelle Eastman. Tate Freeman. Nathaniel Jeffrey Silberman. Gavin Lee Stevens Messer. Amelia May Rapoli. Jason Michael Nix. Breeze Marie Richens. Haley Renee, Renee Martinson. Madison Ann Septon. Stephanie Margarita Zacapulara. Autumn Elizabeth DeWitt. Salome Latiu Wilson. Isabella Lee Wilkins. Tamia Jolie Lapierre. Serena Lydian Martin. McKenna Lamar. Jasmine Murillo Romo. Colby White Gibson. Tandy Emelise Asagai. Hannah Lassen. Tiana Shade Billings. Andrew Carroll. Savannah Martinez. Margaret Ruth McClocken. Joshua Allen Raider. Jennifer Curtin. Olivia Templeton. Leah Valoy. Angela Barker. Juliana Page Giannoni. Owen William Jean Stanley. Nicholas Dwayne Hunter. Xavier William Bach. Christian Kayla Broom. Jesse Ryan Nyberg. Oh, okay. Vinicio Palisa Hansen. Katrina Jean Elano. Amaris Fulima. Madison Noelani Howard. Caden James Smith. P. 
DJ Kwan. Alvon W. Brown Jr. Maria De Rosario Leon Zandoval. Caden Michael Olson. Lucero Luon Hernandez. Cohen Joseph Stackel. Ramanjat Carr. Jacob Hanselman. Zachary Ale. Aliyah Womack. Angelina Joy Covarrubias. Leuma Ili Ili Taylor Puamele. Lillian Jade Kukahiko Leblanc. Jake Style Bavor Jr. Hunter Riley Howells. Garrett Franco Ott. Jacqueline Rose Derrick. Severin Stanley. Valeria Montana Martinez. Noah Emmanuel Frick. Stephen Grant Losey Jr. Nadia Tatiana Wolf. Dylan J. Mesa. Isabella Marie Papina. Ethan Lee Pletcher. Natalie Rose O'Neill. Leah Rosario Williams. Isabella Ciara Caduti Via Gomez. Vienna Rosario Avalos Maldonado. Robert Edward Dreyer. Mariah Jenks Boyce. Karma Lily. Ashley Nicole Broker. Lex Lynn Aubin. Nico Hamilton. Kaylee Rogers. Logan Thomas Mills. Jocelyn Pierce. Ethan Miles Hall. Salalea Sal Tui Olemotu. Adelia Oboy. Billy Bickford. Jocelyn M. Colgan. Yasin Riley. Kaylee Geffrey. Peyton Stone Street. Andrew Blackburn. Haley Ryan Shear. Aiden Donnell Blackwell. Anna K. Heights. Deanna Nicole McMahon. Nathaniel Eric Olson. LJ Henry Bala Comer. Brandon Danielson. Select Michelle Martinez Espinoza. Lynn Paris Gilly. Isabel Barajas Lopez. True Marie Brown. Noah D. Mondrit. Christian Dutcher. Kylie Ann Harris. 
Thomas Michael Shelbert. Kyle Verula. Gunner McKay Piper. Lincoln Ridings Rosenland. Halden Archer Rose. Logan Lee Michael Lovely. Zyler Ashton Reyes. Ethan Scott Williams. Braden Cope. Tristan Alexander Vance. Anthony James Logue. Dillian Morris. Jay Hughes. Leslie Faye Vivian. Michaela Lee Coleman. Jacob Ryan Wilcox. Bailey Paige Christensen. Sophia Soto. Michael James Kendall. Alexander Evans Matute. Jeffrey Manuel Gonzalez. Ready? Wendy Jasmine Zuninga Alvarado. At this time, I would like to invite this year's salutatorian, Kylan Wynn, to join me at the stage for the tassel ceremony. <laughs> Fellow graduates, we've made it to Vend. It is now time for us to take our final step to graduate. With that being said, fellow graduates, please stand. And now join me in the traditional tassel ceremony. At this time, please grab your tassel. Now, move your tassel to the left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the graduates of Graham Cabasa High School from the class of 2023. Honored guests and staff, please take your place for the recessional line. At this time, 
The graduates will be leaving to the northwest exit where they came in. Please remain seated until all graduates have filed out. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you one final time, the class of 2023.